What's up guys, I'm Chicks from Chicks Tech Reviews and I'm back with another TV box review. Today I've got my hands on the latest H96 Pro TV stick. Now I've already reviewed the 8GB model but I've been told the 16GB model is better optimised. Now this 16GB model is also the same price as the 8GB model. So I picked this up to find out if it is in fact better than the other version. Now this is the cheapest S912 octa-core TV box and can be picked up for under $50. So as usual we run our full performance tests including 4K videos, gaming, benchmarks and we will see how it ranks in our top TV box performance chart comparing it to over 50 different Android TV boxes. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is the S912 octa-core running at 2GHz. The GPU is the Mali 820, you got 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, single band Wi-Fi BGN, Bluetooth version 4.1, Android version 7.1 NoGet, supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second, supports HDMI version 2 and HDR10. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual, a power adapter, power brick with a USB, a micro USB charging cable, an HDMI extension cable and last but not least the H96 Pro stick so here it is guys you may have already seen this before um, this is the new 16 GB model and we are going to find out today if this performs any better so you can see the H96 Pro logo 4k Ultra HD it's got an HDMI connection directly and that basically goes straight into your television and you also have this extension which you can use like this in case you have something obstructing your HDMI ports um, this is uh, another easier way to access that port so on the side you have your micro SD card slot the micro USB power port so you have two full size USB ports and nothing else on this side except vents more vents at the bottom and that is about it you have a very powerful Android TV box in a compact size. We're going to quickly bring in the H96 Max and just compare it. And that gives you guys an idea of how tiny this product is. And even in thickness, it's very small. So I'm going to hook this up to my TV and capture card and we're going to find out how good this one performs. I'll be right back. So first of all I ran a boot up test and this box took 26 seconds to load from a cold start. So here is the home screen for the H96 Pro TV stick. This is the standard home screen that H96 uses in all of their recent TV boxes. I like this home screen, it looks good and it's nice and easy to navigate. So all the large and medium icons are fixed and you cannot change them. However, the small icon row at the bottom can be changed to suit your needs. Just hit the plus sign and select your favourite apps and they will appear at the bottom. Furthermore, this TV box has 16 gigs of internal storage from which there are 10 gigs available to use. And if we have a quick look at about, you will see that this is running the latest Android 7.1.2 Nougat. You may have noticed a few common settings like display, screen resolution and screen positioning etc are no longer visible under the main settings. Well they've been moved to a separate Droid settings app. H96 has done this to all of their 7.1 Android devices so in case you're looking for these settings you will find them under Droid settings. Furthermore these are all the standard apps you will find on this system and you have plenty of apps to get you started such as YouTube, Netflix, KDMC and of course the full Google Play Store which will give you access to thousands of free games and apps. Also this box comes rooted as default. So I tested out Miracast with my Samsung Galaxy S8 and it immediately mirrored my screen, worked extremely well, there was no lag, it was a very smooth experience. You also get KDMC, which is a custom media player based on Kodi 17.3 Krypton. You can, however, remove this and install the latest official version of Kodi, should you prefer. So now I'm going to be playing some 4K video samples from a USB drive, and I'll be doing this from the standard movie player. So let's begin the first video.
Moving on to the YouTube test, you are able to stream a maximum of 1080p YouTube videos. So let's check a few out. But not everyone knows who their father is. For 40 years, we thought we did, until today. I wasn't sure who your father was. How does that work? Was it crazy? So I installed the latest Comic Saints build on this TV stick to see if it could run. And it actually ran beautifully, fast and smooth, with no lag whatsoever. So now let's check out the gaming performance. And the first thing I'd like to try is some retro gaming. So as you can see from the CPU Z system information, this TV box comes rooted as standard. So in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 14.11 and upload speeds of 9.58 megabits per second. And I was using a 40 meg broadband connection to run these tests. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we got a total benchmark score of 41,590. So let's see how that compares with the others. So this is my top performing Android TV box chart of 2017. Here you will find all the TV boxes for this year. I have ranked them by anti 2 performance scores and you can compare all the specs and prices and this chart should help you decide on what TV box to go for. So as you can see, this 16 GB H96 TV stick has achieved position 14 on this chart, which is quite impressive for a $48 TV box. Now to make things a little more simplified, here is the best performing TV boxes under $50. And again, all devices have been ranked via Antutu scores. And as you can see, this 16 GB H96 Pro TV stick has achieved position one under this chart. Now I'm constantly trying to find the best way to compare these TV boxes. So now I have decided to provide two charts with every review. One comparing all the TV boxes and another comparing it to its own price category. So stay tuned because we have a lot more to come. So there you have it guys, that was the H96 Pro TV Stick 16GB model. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So you have one of the smallest and cheapest Android TV boxes available right now. It's running the latest Android 7.1.2 Nougat. Comes rooted as standard, plays all the games very well, you can watch 4K videos at 60 frames per second, from a USB drive. I ran a full featured Kodi build and that ran smooth too. This is an amazing Android TV box and the only drawback in this H96 stick is you have no USB 3 and only single band Wi-Fi. Now Wi-Fi speeds were not great, however I was still able to watch 1080p videos on YouTube, Netflix movies and Kodi streaming with no buffering issues at all. This is actually a great TV box, especially for the $50 price range. This performs nearly as good as the full-sized H96 Pro Plus TV box. And the only slight letdown is the single band Wi-Fi. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.